The old washing machine that Shireen Kulikamp owns is too big to fit in her home. It's a shack she built herself in a township of Johannesburg. It's leaking. There's no toilet in. We have to use a bucket in the morning. We have to throw the bucket out. She lives here with her children. She's among South Africa's six million unemployed. And she's on a waiting list for a new home built by the government. Shireen's house is next door to the house of her brother-in-law. He lives here with his family. And her brother lives in here with his family. Her niece lives in here with her family. And for decades, the extended family has been spilling out of her father's house here, which was built by the government in 1988. And the government hasn't built any more social housing here in the township of Ennedale since then. There were demonstrations here in May. Residents blocked the roads. They only stopped when officials came and promised homes would be built soon. The government's built more than three million houses across the country since it came to power in 1994. Ever since taking over from the apartheid regime, it's had policies to provide homes for everyone. But researchers estimate between 6 and 10 million people still live in informal settlements, many of them sprawling shanties of shacks like this one. People complain the government programmes have been too slow and plagued by poor construction and corruption. We're currently sitting at more than 4,3 million housing and subsidies. Is that enough? No. But by any standards, which country has delivered more housing opportunities within 20 years? There's no sanitation in the house. Back in Ennerdale, a community leader told us she's sceptical the promised homes will be delivered, a promise she says was hard to get. We barricaded the roads and um, we burned some tires and the, we, we actually kept the whole Ennerdale hostage to say nobody's going in and out of Ennerdale except ambulances and school children are allowed to come in because that's the only language the government understands. In Shireen's shack, she shares these two beds with her four children. She's been waiting for a government home for 13 years. She hopes it won't be many more. Malcolm Webb, Al Jazeera, Johannesburg, South Africa.